any electrical work. Reloads has to come out to get the starter out of the way. Three mounting points for these Bosch starters. One at the front, up by the bio um, board, and uh, two at the back here. Two starter connections to come off, one's held on by a 13mm and an 8mm nut, 13mm spanner size. Two cables on this 8mm stud that I'm undoing. So uh, that's the battery one, that's the other one. And just behind that there's a spade terminal. That's the signal wire from your starter button. So when you push your starter button that activates the starter relay which is just here and uh, then from the relay a signal is sent to this unit here which is the solenoid so that's just below the diode board there so the bolt on this side that mounts the starter is hidden so I'm just going to withdraw that using a magnet. And now we can just jiggle the starter up. Just lift it out carefully and it comes out to the left hand side. So there's the starter motor off. Okay. So We're going to have this apart um, and clean up this shaft here. Um, what uh, We're going to have the whole thing apart, get this gear out hopefully and uh, clean up this shaft because I think that's been sticking. We're also going to have the solenoid apart because I want to check that the plunger is not sticking in the solenoid as, as well. So we'll start off by taking the solenoid off. Okay. We're off. Right, so what we're going to do first is uh, take this uh, solenoid off uh, the starter motor. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just mark the solenoid in relation to the motor. So I'm just going to put a little dab of paint so that we know um, how the solenoid goes back on relation to the starter. Uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, undo this nut at the back here. So on the back of the um, starter, this is the terminal that connects from the from the battery, and this is the terminal that connects from uh, the relay, the starter button via the relay. So that's where the spade terminal goes on. That's where the uh, battery main heavy duty lead goes on. And then we've got another strap here going into 
the starter motor from the solenoid and uh, that's that's got to be that's got to be undone so we'll just loosen that off take that nut off here and that little strap's got to be just pulled off and left to one side and then um, looking at the front we've got to undo these two screws and they normally have to be undone um, with a um, an impact screwdriver because they're, they're quite tight but I've already loosened them a little bit so those two screws have to come off And uh, then the solenoid comes out, the condition of the plunger. And to do that, we've got to undo these two screws here. We've got to undo these two screws and remove them. And then we've got to unsolder two terminal connections. So the screws come out like that couple of little washers on them and then we're going to put that in the in the vise and uh, just apply the soldering iron so we've got to melt the solder and desolder the connections and to do that I normally just blow them off so Bob's going to cover his eyes, I'm going to cover my eyes whilst it's melted and just blow it away. And then we're going to do the same on this side. Get the solder fully melted and blow. Do that once more. Okay, so hopefully that's unsoldered it. Yeah, and now we can just lift that off. Okay, I've blown a load of solder into the uh, into the workings of the armature there, so I've got to pick that out. That should come out quite easily. Another pick of this. Make sure you get all that salt in this armature. Salt this away. is a coil of wire, and uh, when we uh, push the starter button, this coil of wire becomes energised by feeding current down here. It comes. It's a single coil of wire. It goes in one end. And comes out the other and then goes to earth through the uh, armature of the um, starter motor so earth through this and uh, when that happens this becomes magne uh, magnetized and attracts the iron plunger in and pushes pulls the lever at one end and pushes this plate into contact with the inside of the uh, plates there so that this this plate here bridges those two contacts so it joins ends up joining those two together and passes current uh, into 
the starter motor itself. Okay, so what I'm concerned about is the condition of this. As you can see, it's quite clean and it's able to move quite easily. If this is dirty, then we can just clean that up with um, a bit of um, um, sandpaper or something. Don't use emery cloth because uh, the uh, carborundum gets embedded in the copper and that generates a high resistance. So use something like sandpaper to clean that up. I did have some sandpaper around here. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, just a bit of um, sandpaper like that and just clean up those surfaces. As I say, this, is, this one's quite clean, so... And the same on the inside here, just clean those up. So we're just okay. reassembling up the solenoid, having uh, checked it inside for the connections make sure the get you put the gasket back on this when uh, it's reassembled don't need to over tighten these screws just knit them up and then we've just got to resolder the joints Make sure the surfaces of the joints that you're soldering are nice and clean. Okay, so there we are, that's the solenoid dealt with, now we're going to look at the starter motor. <laughs> 